are critical and also substantial. Local manufacturing of clean and steel has saved the country foreign exchange to the tune of $500 million every year. And the Depke Group remits 2 billion shillings every month in form of taxes to the Republic of Kenya. That is 24 billion shillings every year. You've also heard that he pays a billion shillings every month in power charges to our Kenya Power Company. That level of commitment, investment, and paying taxes demonstrates immeasurable patriotism to the Republic of Kenya, and I want to say to my friend Rawal, congratulations. Tafadhali huyu mungana tumpigie makofi jameni. Huyu guru ni rafiki yangu, lakini anaamini kwenye taifa la Kenya. Sio watu wengi wako na uzalendo ya kutosha kuweka pesa zao katika investment ya mali kama hii. Umesikia hii kiwanda ilipatiwa na leseni ikafanywa ground breaking miaka 13 iliyopita. Lakini haikuanza for 13 years nothing happened. Kwa sababu people had excuses. Oh you know West Pokot is insecure. Oh you know there is uh, imports of uh, clinker and many other excuses. But when Defki came into the scene, a man who believes in Kenya, who has demonstrated his patriotism to the Republic of Kenya, he overcame those challenges, he overcame those excuses, and that is why today we have an investment of 45 billion shillings in West Pokot. Wakati nilikuja, wakati moja nilikuja hapa West Pokot kwa uwanja. Na niliwaeleza watu wa West Pokot ya kwamba ni maono yangu ya kwamba hii West Pokot tuibadilishe. Hii West Pokot tutaipatia jina mpya. Haitakuwa West Pokot ya wizi wa ngombe, ya njaa, ya kukosekana kwa usalama. Itakuwa ni West Pokot tofauti. Munajua ile kazi tumefanya hapa West Pokot. Tumejenga barabara ambayo haikuwa imejengwa na serikali ingine yeyote for the last eight or so years. We build roads in this county. Mumesikia ile mpango tuko nae kwa zile barabara ambazo zimesalia. Barabara kutoka kule mailitisa, kule leseru. All the way mpaka murupu sapa. Tumepatiana hiyo kandarasi, tumepata pesa kutoka Africa Development Bank na katika hiyo mpango tutajenga hiyo barabara yale mambo mengine mmeniuliza kwa mfano eh, tufanye dueling pale eh, makutano tufanye dueling hapa Kamatira kutoka hapa chini um, eh, hapa chini naitwa nini eh? Chepareria. Kutoka Chepareria kupanda mpaka Kamatira tuweke dueling. Hapa tuweke dueling. Mmeniuliza maneno ya Ortum. Mimi naelewa sana kwamba Ortum ilikuwa ni hospitali ya muhimu sana dunia hii yote. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie wakati tutajenga hiyo barabara tutajenga hospitali mpya hapa Ortum na tutajenga hospitali ya kisasa kwa sababu katika ile budget ambayo tumetengeneza ya hiyo barabara kuna infrastructure ambayo tume build in ambayo ni ya muhimu tutaweka soko pale tutaweka soko mahali tofauti tofauti kuna zile soko ambayo tayari tume award contracts tume award contract soko ya Sigor tume award contract ya hapa Ortum 
tume award contract ya makutano tume award contract ya kajalipa kule um, alale hizo tayari tuko na milioni miambili ya kujenga hizo soko lakini wakati tutajenga hii barabara pia tutahakikisha kwamba sehemu ambayo inahitaji soko tutaweka soko sehemu aendaye inahitaji other public utilities tutahakikisha kwamba vile tumeweka hiyo program tumeweka karibu bilioni tatu ya kuhakikisha kwamba we build auxiliary public interest facilities to support communities along this corridor hiyo ndio kazi ambayo tutafanya na wakati nilikuja pale kwa stadium hawa viongozi wanakumbuka nilikuja pale na ilikuwa nilikuwa nimealikwa na dada yetu Tekla Lorupe na tulikuwa tumekuja pale kusema hii West Pokot lazima ikome kuwa ni county ya watu ambao wanaiba ngombe some of the leaders kwa sababu ya kuogopa wakatoroka siku hiyo nikakuwa pale peke yangu lakini i made a commitment to you that we are going to change this West Pokot and if you didn't be believe me then you better start to believe me now we are going to change West Pokot na hii sio factory peke yake ambayo tunajenga kuna factories zingine ambazo zinakuja hii West Pokot ni county ya mining na vile mnajua tayari tumetoa tumepatiana kandarasi ya factory ya mining ya Flospa tumepata mwegezaji ataweka pale bilioni ine na nusu tumeweka pata mwegezaji mwingine ambaye atatupatia mambo ya gold ile guru alisema kakamega kwa huyu ndugu yangu mheshimiwa eh, Shinali pale tuko na bilioni tano nukta nane kujenga gold refinery pale kakamega vile vile tunajenga kiwanda ingine eh, kule vihiga ya granite tumepata mwegezaji ya shilingi bilioni mbili na nusu na ni kwa sababu tumekubaliana kama taifa ya kwamba lazima tupange vile tutazalisha mali ili tuondoe umaskini na njia moja ya kuondoa umaskini kuzalisha mali na kupanga ajira ya vijana wetu ni kazi hii ya viwanda na mbali na kuweka hiyo mpango waziri wangu wa eh, mambo ya industry pia tumekubaliana na yeye tunajenga special economic zones zingine sita Kenya kwa sababu we want to create ecosystems and avenues for us to target the export market mumesikia vile guru amesema hapa 80% ya hii klinga ambaye atatoa hapa kiasi kikubwa itauzwa kwenye nchi jirani tutapata pesa ya kigeni because of the steps we took as a country many people complained about the finance bill last year as my chairman for finance committee mr kimani kuria here mp for molo has told you this was what it was informing the finance bill we want Kenya to move away from being a supermarket for other countries to being a manufacturer of a manufacturer of our own goods and exporting to other countries goods that can be manufactured in Kenya that is why we made a commitment and i am firm and determined to make sure that we grow our manufacturing in Kenya for the last almost six years manufacturing in Kenya has come down from 9% of GDP to 7.2% our plan is to take it to 20% of GDP and it will not go there through miracles it will go there through investments like what Guru and others are doing in Kenya ladies and gentlemen there is absolutely no justification for us to import clinker when we have manufacturing capacity when we have the raw material 
there is nothing that we are going to import to make this clinker here. And if there is any import, it is less than 10%. So this is clinker manufactured in Kenya. I hear some people tell me sometime, Mr. President, you know, goods manufactured in Kenya are not very high quality. And I tell them, it is better we drive a Datsun made in Kenya than a Rolls Royce made elsewhere. That's what it is. And slowly, we are going to make our own Mercedes.